Welcome to this tutorial in which I have improved a little bit the resolution of the screen and the sound. So go ahead and import our package here. And once it's imported, I will try to explain the basic stuff okay, of it. So if you go to the main scene, you will find this structure here. We have the HUD that's going to be where the uh, the loading bar and the uh, this image here, the pointer is going to be placed. Then the reference, the, re the reference is just an object that goes up and down facing the button. So as you can see how, how it changes from this position, okay? So it's in order to obtain that blur motion. The particles are not needed. You can, you know, activate it and deactivate it. And finally, the carbon main is just a prefab in, in the cardboard uh, package that you have previously imported. Finally, the menu, it's a work canvas with a graphical uh, right caster with different buttons. And if you go to one of them, you can see that the clicking trigger, okay, calls this circle trigger change text flow. So if you go to um, the hub in, in which we have the function, the circle trigger function, okay, and you look for that function, you will see what it does. It just adds a text. That is what we see when we hit play, okay? So let's add another public void uh, show. The show must go on. And a public void hide. So what we're going to do with these functions is refer to a gay, uh, render sorry, and change the value of it to true or to false. So in the case of show, we'll do it to true. And you copy this line and you paste it down and you say false. So in fact, if you can understand this short code, what we're going to do is set the game object with a render on and off by just using our loading uh, script okay so we need an object to refer to so I'm going to um, add a simple cube here a simple by really small cube so I'm going to do it bigger okay sorry about that that's the timing I'm trying to do the tutorial really, really short. In this case, I'm taking too much time. Okay, so we have a cube there that you can see it. And then what we're going to do is use this button here and this here to create the hide and to create the show um, event. So if you go ahead and go to circle trigger inside the button, and in this case, that is hide, we look for the high. And then you get the cube we have created and take it and drag it into that. I'm going to repeat the same thing, but with the show. So you go ahead and go to circuit trigger, uh, sorry, this uh, click, that's important. And uh, you go and you say show. And you go and you, and you do it um, again you take the cube and you put it there in, in the, the place and you check just that the, both of them are properly programmed or selected and now if I go to hide you will see that it triggers the show and hide actions so it's really f simple from that point of view to implement this sort of stuff okay fine so I'm going to save this as another scene um, same scene as I don't know why it's referring me to another that is trigger in this scenes scene 2 okay so this will be the scene you, you've got let's try to um, do more things with this package so go ahead and say 
this hard object you copy it into the tree patch to use it by the for the future okay and then you go ahead and you save all these things okay remember to drag this I have the prefab here okay and let's import the uh, the demo the unity demo that has this thing the main scene and all those things you you need to to use the reticle okay I believe someone asked me if I could do a short tutorial on the reticle thing okay so that's what we're going to do now so you look you load the main scene from cardboard and you have that reticle thing okay so if you want to add the hub uh, we were using before you go to the prefabs in, in in our package and you have this thing here okay so you can see that uh, it's not configured so you have to go here first and say okay I have not found my left camera and my right camera so this is the main starting point you have to define those cameras and then you will have something like this okay so that is done and then you can also go ahead and change the plane distance okay put that value and you will prevent what was happening before okay so now the idea is we want to use our script but we want to use the reticle so you go ahead and in this image an image you say disable and you will have the script prepared without seeing the crosshair okay so now we want to make appear the loading bar appear sorry while we are on an object for example and then trigger the function so to do that we go to cube and in the pointer enter we go ahead and we select the uh, script okay so you go ahead and you put this you say this trigger trigger and you say prepare to click prepare to click but what so you see we have a button here but I'll, I will I will explain that later we have to change some things in, in our code to make it work but first of all let's try to do it Circle trigger again, and the exit it's the restart or undo click. So if everything goes well, now when I get over, we'll have this exception here. Why? Because we are not referencing to that button thing. So let's go ahead and change our script. So we have an error. Let's let's read the error that you will see it there okay we have blah 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 okay so in, in, in fact there's a problem because we're not, we're not able to trigger the events so we have to go to circle trigger and in this case this and this is not valid so we need instead of a selected button we need a game object so I select it game object so you change that line line 24 and then you will have a lot of red things that are going to help us okay have things right so you can see this here it has to be the selected game object and then if we go down you see in the function prepared to click the same problem it's not a button it's a game object go game object and you say this equals to this and if you go down in the undo click you can see that we are not calling to anything related to those things so when we are on our scene you will see that we have lost our reference here so we have to configure it again so circle trigger okay and in the circle trigger we have to go to prepare to click and in game object we have to select our cube so this is the main changes you have to do in your script so you can see now 
that things are going pretty pretty well and when clicked we have another problem so let's check it out go here to unsigned reference and we see that we have a problem because we don't have the anim text so if you remember we were using these animations to uh, in our main project to change the text displaying when clicking so you go ahead and you erase this because now you do not need it so you, you it's trash so you take it out let's check it again if it's going to work and now you know you have that event ready okay so everything is working well except for the fact that the pointer click is not being called properly okay but you have uh, okay because here you can see that we have the execute event submit handle but we want to s execute the pointer click handle I think or down or enter let's see what it says let's check this first to see if it's going to work I think it's that one there okay you change it and you try it I think it will work so let's try again okay so we already did it so remember to I'm not pressing my okay I, you're going to to see the difference now I'm pressing the click mouse okay and now I'm letting the bar to load okay so that's the main idea thanks for watching this tutorial uh, I will up, uh, upload the code into uh, well directly into YouTube so you can see how it has to to look that and uh, thanks for your time please write me if you have any questions of how to implement in this um, new loading bar and that will be it for now remember to check our other packages so if you go to the asset store you say cardboard and you will have all our packages we are doing a low cost group of uh, new experiences for VR that you can download easily from the asset store because we're a group of students that we want to change the future of applications and games. So please support our job. Thank you.